Hold that in case anything here. stupid happens. <laughs> I'll make sure I'm uphill from stupid. Yes, of course. Alright, so for the uninitiated, what do we got here? We have... Oh, a door just oh. hit me in the back is what we have. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that was super unfortunate. Uh, oh, emotional man. damage. <laughs> <laughs> what we have is a 12,000 pound winch in the back of the truck. Once some of this stuff out of the way, that's going to come out through this fair lead. Oh, right on. And we're going to run it down Damn. that hill to that car. Over there and in I've the bushes. Got a bunch of extension and yank them ropes and stuff like that. Sweet. So hopefully we can reach it. Right and on. then hopefully we can pull it. Cool. Is I'm that a uh, this door open because that hurt. Yeah, that did not look like fun. It's pretty tricky walking up here. Yeah, it's steeper than it looks. It really is. Like, there you go. There's your straight down look. <laughs> now, let's take this end. And soft shackle it to this end and send this end down the hill. Copy. Sounds good. Got it. Okay. Harbor Freight recovery gear. And that's that is not that is not like a jab at Harbor Freight either. I love Harbor Freight stuff. Me too. It, has its place. <laughs> it certainly does. That Harbor Freight winch there has pulled an amazing amount of stuff out I of I bet you it makes you a whole lot of and money. I probably shouldn't say that right before we're gonna try to pull this thing out of somewhere stupid. You at the end? I got an idea. Hold on. This 30 foot rope in between. Well, oh, looks like I have some errands to run. So we are back down here with Kevin from PLS Bend and this car that's stuck on the side of the mountain on Coyote Butte because we got to get it Hold up for down. Why are we holding it? I don't know why we're holding it, but this car is on the side of this butte that is very steep and a very big drop off. And our cleanup project is happening tomorrow, which will be already over and done with by the time you see this video because I can't edit that fast. So this car is a big danger to all the people who are going to be cleaning up down here below it on the butte. So we need to get it out of here. We can't remove it from the forest for legal reasons, but we can make it safer. So that's what we're doing today. Got Kevin here doing some rigging. Ethan's up there uh, taking some pictures and doing some rigging. And then we got my truck over the side of the bank up there and not a great spot. And we're gonna use that Badlands winch off the back to spin this car around, point it downhill, and then I'm gonna drive it-ish, coast it to the bottom where then it can be removed out the roads. Casey. What's up? How much more line do you have in your truck? I need a few feet. You need a few feet? Um, grab another one of those tree savers and other soft shackle right there too so kevin tell everybody how many people we got signed up i'm super excited we have as of an hour or two ago 245 signed up that's what i was informed my guess is it's going to be over 250. that's awesome that is super super awesome that is uh almost double any previous events record really yep that is great so we're gonna get some stuff done tomorrow <laughs> and that's another reason we want to get this out of here today is so we don't have two three hundred people down below it with it in a right now that branch is the only thing holding it from down the mountain so we got to make this safe so we got the yankum rope in the mix try to get clear of all this debris All right. You're the smart one staying up here. <laughs> hey, I didn't wear the right shoes today. Yeah. Should be going down that hill. Very okay. convenient excuse. This is Megan from Central Oregon Daily. Hi. They're helping promote this whole thing too, so big thank you to them. Go check out their story on it. It's probably gonna be way better than mine. Yeah. 
So, let's see what happens. Listen, is it coming up this hill or kind of this path right here? We're gonna spin it around and go down. Oh, fun stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the car is spinning. The truck is sitting still finally. I know you can't see much from up here, but Kevin is getting the wheels pointed downhill and the car is now kind of facing down for the first time. Good? Okay, I got the good sign. Nice. Only problem is now I gotta drive it down the hill. You know what? Hey, makes for good footage for me. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully for me too. Yeah. Oh, my chariot awaits. Are you want to do it? Yeah, I'll do it. All right, I made you a seat and I put oh. the glass so you can see. Thank you. I was dumb didn't bring any gloves with me. Dumb or smart enough not to bring any gloves so that you didn't have to do it? Both. Is this log? Uh, front right tires on seated FYI. Okay. Uh, you gotta climb in. Oh, we got Dukes of Hazard? Oh man, this is getting better. But I cleared as much glass off seat and then gave, gave a seat pan. This is the part where my wife gets really mad at me when she watches the video. <laughs> okay. Seatbelt doesn't work either. No? No, because it's pinched in the door. That's okay. Where we're going, we don't need seatbelts. <laughs> it's only only like 100 yards down, uh -huh. as steep as the dirt will fall. Oh, turn your wheel to the left. You're just stopping us. Oh. I'm that guy in all my videos that has the wheel turned the wrong way? Yeah. Okay. Right. Going to the left. I love you too! I'll miss you! Whew. Oh man! Casey, what happened? You were doing so good! I got wedged in this bush right here! Oh man! <laughs> but, but look, my wheels are pointed the right direction! Oh, it's because it's a dirt bike track. Uh, you are pretty, you can, uh, I should have gone faster. Yeah, you should have. I should have gone faster and you guys need to try harder. That's what we learned from this. Oh yeah. It's moving. It's moving. It is. You just need to get him over the hump. What if we hit the kinetic rope hook to the front and you guys run down the hill <laughs> at the end of it? Okay. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Casey, uh, I mean to insult your driving, but man, you suck. <laughs> I know. I never said I was good at this. That's, that's true. Oh man, now we just got to walk farther to get back to the truck. Right. Oh hey, while you're down there. Okay. So now I got to head down the hill in my truck. Kevin is already down there. He's going to get his air down and... And uh, how do I get down this? Let's go... Let's go straight off the edge. Woo! We are skiing! All right, now we can get up here and not go through all the nails. That spot right there looks bad. Okay, let's take the heavy truck down the steep hill. Made it. 
there's our car. See, here's our problem. When we're at the top, it's like, oh, it looks like it'd be way shorter and easier to take it out the bottom. And now we're at the bottom and it's way up there. It looks like, oh, it'd be so easy to just take it right out the top. This hill is very deceiving and the camera does not show how steep or big or how loose it is, so. Huh. I should probably park my truck not so below it. You're getting your stairs today, sir. Yep. I, I, I applaud you. Following him. Hey, don't you have ribs cooking? I do. My girlfriend's making them though. Oh, okay. I mean, I started them, but she's wrapping them. But good eye. Uh, my timer went off about 30 seconds ago. See, I know. <laughs> this man's a, he's a man of good taste. The farther I go, the heavier it gets. Now Ethan is bringing up his Land Cruiser. He's gonna pull me down backwards. So it sounds like I'm out of breath. I'm very, very out of breath. I'm, that's a big hill and, and I'm sick, so. It's not a good combination. And as far as like getting rest and all that stuff, I'm I'm always sick. It's part of the deal, so we just don't worry about that. Just keep going. Kevin's gonna hook up the rope. So so we've got 80 feet plus 30 feet plus 30 feet, so it's 140 feet of uh, rope to reach this thing up here. Probably have to put you guys down here and there to um, be able to steer this thing as we go. Okay, this front wheel completely locked up, so I can't steer. So I'm just here for the brakes. The problem is that means it's just dragging it off this side, so it's not doing what we want. I want to be over there on the road. The beggars can't be choosers, so as long as we get to the bottom of the hill, I can grab it with my truck and we're good. Check it out, we're going to be famous. There you go. Woohoo! I never get to be on this end. <laughs> okay, camera battery ran dead at the bottom there, but uh, we got the car out of those trees way up there, and now it's down here, and then uh, it's safe. And we'll see when the sheriff and everyone's here tomorrow if we can get them to tag this one so we can get it out of here before it gets stripped and messed up. But we got it, so. All good. So Ethan, yeah. we're in the same canyon and the same Land Cruiser saves the day again. That's a reoccurring theme with this thing. It's yeah. been a very good truck to me and it's made me a lot of friends and connections. It works well. It does. It's a good machine. Makes me super excited about a Land Cruiser project. Oh, Land Cruiser. Land Cruiser projects, huh? Okay. Now can this tank of a truck get back out of the canyon? We shall see. There's like a road over there. It's kind of a road, but this is the trail that Alex tried to go up and got stuck and screwed up on. So I want to try it. See, all you see is sky. It's because it's steep. Oh, Ethan's climbing the other one over there. We made it! Look at how big that hill is. It like does no justice. Alright, so I'm back in town. Uh, I forgot to film an outro before I left because I was tired. But uh, we removed that big danger, which was the big thing we wanted to get done before a couple hundred people are on the side of that hill underneath it. And uh, uh, it turned out a little bigger project than we thought it was going to be. but we eventually got it done and uh, big thanks to Megan with the Central Oregon Daily uh, she was a trooper and stayed the whole time through that whole deal it was hot and dusty and windy and she stayed right there along the whole way and got it all filmed for us uh, probably mainly just in case we ended up being the news story instead of just being in the news story but either way make sure you check out their story on this whole deal and uh, I'm gonna go get some lunch 
and in the morning I'll be back out there for the cleanup and clean it up all day and it's gonna be a good time so uh, thank you to everyone who signed up everyone who's helping out every business that's pitching on this deal it's an awesome deal and I'm excited to see it progressing the way it is so uh, definitely gonna stay involved in this whole deal as much as I can uh, thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed that one I'm hungry I'm gonna go eat we'll see you next time see you. I really wanted to just like ride off into the sunset Another day. Another day. Off to go sweating. Yeah.